this is this is perfect boys perfect topic for me to talk about i'm getting accused of steroids myself i had gynecomastia surgery and i have an in-depth knowledge of celebrity politics so i can make some great jokes does anyone else truly believe that adesanya is rolling costa in some elite billionaire's mansion right now probably pinned up against some marble statue that looks awfully like myself and that's not really a joke with how crazy these psychos in control are, I think it's more of a reality. They probably threw both of them on a private jet straight off to Epstein Island promptly after that fight. So some of you may be wondering what the hell I'm talking about. Israel Adesanya and Paulo Costa are two fighters in the UFC Ultimate Fighting Championship. Very popular fight last Saturday. And there was quite a bit of back and forth banter before that fight. Costa joked that Adesanya was a white belt at a press conference. Adesanya shot back that his dick wrapped around his waist was his black belt. He wants to fight all. On top of that, after he knocked out Costa, Israel humped him like a dog. So with all the predictive programming and hints they put in the public media, <laughs> I'm fairly certain Adesanya and Costa were sweating all over each other while some billionaire creepo enacted his fantasy with his friends. Right, so that's what I've been thinking about. Everyone else seems to be focused on Adesanya's tit. And I think it's, I think it's much funnier that it's one tit as opposed to two for some reason. <laughs> Now, now this is a side effect of steroid usage. What happens when you take testosterone or certain drugs that alter your testosterone is your body produces extra estrogen to match it, or at least I think, I'm not 100% sure. So unless you block that estrogen, you end up with female breast tissue, as growth of breast tissue is something that estrogen stimulates. Uh, you know, all these poor little kids with tits right now is because they're putting birth control and, and various crap in the water. Considering Adesanya did not have this in his last fight, it's painfully obvious that he's been using steroids in between over the past few months. What's crazy to me is that professional athletes are still keeping steroids a secret, and they've been doing so for dozens and dozens, probably over a hundred years. They say that steroids weren't invented until like the early 1900s, but I believe that's a lie, and that all famous professional athletes throughout history we're using steroids. Especially with sports where the athletes don't look like roided out bodybuilders, juice head monkeys, oh, oh. You know, people want to believe they're natural, but this isn't WWE. It's not fake. These fighters are beating each other half to death. And the UFC has had its fair share of fighters that are overly muscular. You know, Costa himself is on that cell tech. He looks more muscular than a lot of natural bodybuilders. Hector Lombard is an obvious one. Alistair Overeem, all past UFC fighters. USADA is the organization that tests these athletes for drugs. I don't know the specifics, but usually there's a maximum number of times they can drug test you. So after that final drug test, you can blast whatever drugs you want. And I think I remember hearing that MLB statistics were higher towards the end of the year after those mandatory drug tests. But that's just the drugs they can take that trigger the tests. You know, I'm assuming they can take plenty of stuff consistently under the radar. Genetics, hard work, diet, dedication combined with that drug usage is what it takes to be successful. And a major advantage we've seen, uh, John Jones being a good example, arguably the best UFC light heavyweight fighter of all time, is the fighter's ability to use high doses of very potent steroids. Certain drugs make you so much stronger and faster that if you can use them even for a few weeks before a fight and your opponent isn't, it's near impossible for them to win. I'm assuming Adesanya got his last drug test 
then went balls to the wall with some very high dose anabolics. What I don't understand is why the hell he stepped in the ring with that bitch tit. He literally threw his career out the window, at least in my opinion. Unless this was all some staged nonsense to get everyone to realize the truth of what these athletes are doing. If I was him, I would have just no showed that fight. There's no way he didn't have someone intelligent telling him to get his shit straight and cancel it and to not show up. How embarrassing it would be to, you know, go into that UFC fight with a, a tit bigger than his girlfriend or boyfriend for that matter. Now, I had gynecomastia surgery last year and I didn't really need it because I didn't have much tissue behind there. It was just large areolas, probably because I was fed soy formula as a child, more estrogen. You know, you guys can go look at my shirtless videos before and after the surgery, even in the progress video I did. There isn't really that much of a difference, you know, no noticeable breast tissue before or after the procedure. My chest just doesn't look that great uh, genetically how I developed. I mean, I don't think I would have gotten the procedure done if I knew that stuff, but, you know, I wouldn't have known if I didn't. Uh, the reason I'm bringing this up is because the recovery time from that surgery is usually only two, three, four weeks, so I'm assuming Adesanya could have probably had some expert surgeon like go through his armpit, remove the tissue, and he could heal up reasonably in a week or two, at least enough to fight. Then again, you know, I don't know, maybe it literally happened in the past week or two before the fight. You know, it could happen very rapidly. Uh, so this is the main thing that discouraged me from pursuing professional sports or bodybuilding. You know, I would love to live in a world where it was an even natural playing field. You know, although it's safe to say that steroids actually make things more equal, because if not for drugs, the best genetics would win. And by genetics, we basically mean who developed better, got more nutrition through their younger years. So you're not gonna become the best UFC fighter in the world by just taking steroids, but the best fighters, the best athletes are certainly using them. It's simple. You follow the basic elements of any sport, training, diet, drug usage, you will succeed depending on how much you dedicate to that uh, will determine how far you get. And also you have to be mindful of your height, body frame, you know, not everyone is going to play basketball or be a swimmer. Thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, maybe if there are any uh, adult video companies, they can uh, produce like a, a replica, like they can get some dude that looks like Adesanya and some like Brazilian dude that looks like Costa. <laughs> That would be funny. That would be funny. It's not a bad idea, to be honest. Probably make a lot of money. Uh, I guess they can give me a cut of uh, a cut of the profits if they get the idea from me. Uh, so uh, just drop a like on the video, guys. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys would like to see over the next few days, week or two. And I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video. Fucking nonsense.